tribe welcome welcome to sarita's intuitive love guidance my name is sarah i'm going to be doing the daily divine masculine check see what's going on with our masculines today and i still have the spiritual guidance one-on-one -on -one phone call with me so if you're kind of going through a breakup a divorce separation or just lacking some clarity in direction and guidance in your current situation then definitely reach out to me i would love to have a, a talk with you and and really guide you through your situation so that the information will be on the screen and down below so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to be using the situations card deck by intuitive envisions 1111 again so let's see what is the major energy of the divine masculines whoa that card just flew out so let's see whoa look at this guys your divine masculine is desiring some kind of reconciliation, wanting to come together, wanting to see you, wanting to hear from you. Some of your masculines um, used to kiss you on your forehead a lot. And that meant really something to you. And so your masculine could be reminiscing about that. But there is some kind of desire here that your masculine is wanting with you beautiful but I do feel like there's a third party situation that could be involved that's in a way or an influencer to this connection doesn't have to be another woman or man it could be a mother a father a family member work that is keeping you and your masculines from coming together could be a, you know maybe they are married or in another relationship or or whatever it is for your situation so let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines on how they're feeling towards you, Divine Femmes. They are receiving signs. Synchronicities. 1111, 222, 333, 444. About you. And so it's causing your Masculines to really contemplate you, think about you a lot. And Archangel Michael is here. You know, for protection. So let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines. And you may be seeing a lot of, I think 444 is Archangel Michael's number as well. So we have access granted here. Social media fake profile hiding. Some of your Masculines are checking on your social media. Seeing what you're up to. Checking your story. Maybe direct messaging you, sending you memes, going on Snapchat because Snapchat hides the chat. And so they have to avoid a situation because maybe they're in a third party situation and they don't want something to get out towards the karmic. I do feel that they have been living beyond their means and they're afraid to take the steps towards you divine femmes some of these masculines are hiding how they feel hard to express their emotions towards you what is the major energies of how divine masculine is feeling towards divine femmes let's get one more twin flames wow and there's going to be a pop-up here soon a surprise visit, a surprise text message, communication. You may have thought that you are never going to hear from your masculines again, but guess what? They are popping up because they are feeling this connection. The desire is so strong that they are wanting access to you again, Divine Femmes. Maybe you cut things off, but do know this masculine is going to come back. I believe we are still in mercury retrograde till until november 3rd so do know you're going to be hearing from your exes people from the past are going to be popping up you may accidentally run into your masculine somehow the universe is orchestrating things to come um for you to meet up with them or see them or run into them so let's see what else is going on of how Divine Masculine is feeling towards Divine Femmes. Oof, I told you guys, there are some actions here that your Masculine is wanting 
to come towards you. They're wanting this connection. They're wanting to move forward with you and see you. I feel like there's some ascension here that your masculine is wanting. I do feel like it may cause some kind of chaotic energy. May throw you off. May kind of get you off your path that you were working on healing. And all of a sudden, like, your masculine pops up. And you're like, what in the world? I was living my life, working on self, you know, drinking my lemon water, <laughs> living my best life. And then, boom, the masculine just comes back in and just kind of can wreck some things, maybe just wreck you off your path, and maybe not in a bad way, or maybe it is in a bad way. But I do feel like your masculine is also in a chaotic energy and are going to want to reach out to you, Divine Femmes, or see you, don't want to let you go, because you are that person that brings that peace. And sometimes misery loves company, so if your masculines are still miserable, and dealing with a third party situation that could rub off onto you and they they are and they're going to be leaning on you for that support all the time I'm not quite sure of how that resonates for your situation but i do feel some of these masculines have been hiding ghosted you and now are coming back in and you may have felt that you may have felt them all of a sudden like, I knew they were going to message me. I just feel it. <coughs> Excuse me. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? They, there is a fighty connection here. They feel this euphoric, heavenly connection with you. But I think in the 3D world, in the current earthly plane, they cannot be an emotional relationship with you or commit because it's still one-sided and it's not balanced. And I think that's because your masculine's in a third party situation still. And if they're not in a third party, then they just got a lot going on in their life, work, family issues, children. I'm not quite sure that is hindering from this connection, but do know things may be coming back for your masculine's that they're wanting to see you. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? They can't get you out of their heads. Yeah. And they are jealous. If they see you with someone or if they don't want you to be with nobody else but them. Even in the midst of the separation. They're like keeping tabs on you. And that could be why they have that uh, social media fake profile. All of a sudden you get this weird request to follow you on social media and it could be karmic energy as well trying to spy on you divine femmes seeing if you are seeing the masculines trying to check up on you so let's see what else is going on with our divine masculines on how they are feeling towards divine femme spirit paranoid yeah, I do feel like your masculine is really anxious because maybe things are done. Conclusions, there were some endings with you, Divine Femmes. Maybe y'all ended a cycle. Maybe y'all left off on a wrong foot. There was ghosted energy. And now your masculine's paranoid. They're like, did this person move on? I don't want them to move on without me. I, even though I can't quite commit, I don't want Divine Femmes to be with anybody else. And so they're paranoid. If you have not been responding, Divine Femmes, it's causing some anxious energy. They're like, if they don't hear from you, they're like, okay, what's going on? What else is going on with Divine Masculines? Yeah, they are definitely thinking about you with this nostalgic energy, this desire and coming together. They're feeling these signs. And there is some doubt here, maybe doubt that you will respond to them. Scared that you may reject them, deny them if they reach out. It could be doubting their own third party situation, their own fear based thoughts. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? A vow. So there is definitely some kind of commitment here that your masculine is, is contemplating, wanting to communicate with you. Y'all may be still married. Maybe you are married with your masculine. 
<coughs> and are in separation. And so they are going to want to come forth and talk about this marriage, this commitment, this vow that y'all had. And if you are not married with your masculine, this could be a spiritual connection vow, a, a soul tie. A, a soul contract. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine? They are inspired. They are now in a receptive energy to listen, to hear, to see both sides of the story now. I feel like this this separation has inspired the Masculines to even see you as an inspiration, Divine Femmes, of your healing. And they're like, wow, okay, they have changed. They are not as off balance, upset, angry with me. And they're like, okay, this is very inspiring. What else is going on? Let's just see what this paranoid energy is about, spirit. What is Divine Master paranoid about? Whew. So we have some wands, some fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the bottom deck is the Hermit, so a Virgo energy. I do feel like your masculine is paranoid about, you know, the Ten of Wands is all about endings. It's very burdensome. And they're paranoid because they're like contemplating this Ace of Wands. Like there's some growth here. There's some leaves on here. So they're contemplating on reconnecting, reaching out. Pages are messengers. And so your masculine is wanting to message you that they haven't been in deep thought. They're tired of this isolation energy and they have really gone within and now they're definitely thinking about you. What is this nostalgic energy? They are definitely wanting to put the work in. Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this mature divine masculine energy here is becoming more grounded, secure about you divine femmes and I think they see the healing and the work you've been putting yourself through and doing that it's causing your masculine to ascend a little bit as well and it's like wow I want to put in the work as well and I want to see where this is going to head out how this is going to play out I should say what is this a vow energy there is some kind of internal struggle when it comes to this commitment divine femmes and i feel like it's the because the communicative card came out with the aval and i feel it's more of they have a hard time expressing their emotions um because you have the sun here and this is all about yes this is positivity this is happiness this is healing this is uh, newness vitality and they struggle with their own inner issues, their own internal battles that they could also project their own internal battles on you, Divine Femmes. And you may feel like they don't want to be with you, but that's not the case. That's just their own inner demons and their own inner issues that are projecting and deflecting onto this connection and this commitment. What is this inspired energy? Yeah, your masculine is definitely in an energy of wanting to come in and rush back in. You have the Eight of Wands energy, communication. Something fast is going to come in. And, and there's going to be a communication for somebody today, tomorrow. But something as fast is going to come in. The communication is coming in. Wanting to rush in to see you. Wanting to meet up with you. I do feel the Knight of Wands is a player energy, very flighty in and out. But as of right now, the way the energies are playing out together, your masculine is inspired to come back and communicate to you. Because they have been feeling this connection, wanting to see you <clears throat> and meet up with you. So let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines for the collective stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. And we got Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. So your masculine definitely is possibly in that King of Pentacles energy, trying to get grounded, balance, 
may need some kind of stress reduction. Maybe their current environment is stressful. And so they they lean on you, Divine Femmes, for that peace. Because they do know that you are their life purpose. And you're kind of like, okay, but why do they not want union? But as I said before, masculines are, you know, if they grew up in toxicity and they are still married or in a situation because of the kids, they're scared to leave a comfort zone. They're scared to trust their inner guidance. They suppress, they distract themselves by, instead of moving towards you, divine femmes. And they can distract themselves by other women, by family situation, by being super busy with work. They just rather work, work, work than to face their own demons and face their own life um, situation. It's just easier to distract than to face reality. So let's see what advice do we have for Divine Femmes who are watching this. What do you need to release Divine Femmes? Is it fear? Doubt? Worry? Overthinking? Overanalyzing? Judgment? Forgiveness? To you masculine or to yourself you know what is it that you need to release and i think you do know what it is but whatever it is you have the power within you to do that it's just you really have to sit with your thoughts either journalize uh, i do feel like acceptance is huge in accepting your situation for what it is and then going on from there, like, okay, what is my, my truth? What is my reality? Um, but whatever it is, you need to release it, surrender it, and just know that you're very close to achieving your goal. And I'm not quite sure if that's in union with yourself, in union to self-love, in union with your masculines, but you're very close to achieving your goal. So whatever you've been working hard on, whether that is a career, a business, I'm not quite sure what that is for you, but you are close and do know you are good enough. Don't let, don't ever let a, a masculine disempower you, divine femmes, to feel lack, to, to um, compare yourself to a karmic or whoever. Um, do not, comparison's a thief of joy. Know who you are. Know your power. All right, Divine Femmes, much love.